Hello my beautiful people of YouTube, Shayla here, and wow, it's been how long since I posted a new video? Like six months, seven months? That is not okay. I have been so absent from this channel and I am so sorry. I'm pretty sure I've lost subscribers, but it's okay. It's only motivation for me to try harder and post videos more often. With all that said, I have just finished my first year of college. What? I am getting so old and that actually makes me so uncomfortable. I still think that I'm like 16 years old, but I will be 20 next year. 20, which means I'm gonna be an adult. Am I ready for that? Probably not. I still think I'm so childish. Adulthood is probably not gonna be fun, so that should be interesting. Today's video is gonna be everything you need to know about your first year of college. Since I just finished my first year of college, I thought I would just give you some advice of things that I've learned within my first year. So hopefully these tips will help you and give you a little guidance for your first year of college. So, without further ado, let's get started with this video. Mm -mm -mm. Also, my friend gave me this tapestry thing and I actually really like it. So, this will be my setup from now on with my tapestry sitting on the floor with my Rosie the Riveter headband. I wasn't going for any look, I just really like this headband. And then I put on my red lipstick and I was like, oh my gosh. I'm literally Rosie the Riveter. Feminism! <laughs> Anyways, tip number one college is hard. Oh, uh, shit, well, like everybody knows that college is hard. There are some people in the world that think that they can get by in college while doing the minimal amount of work. Well, good for you. That's not a good mindset to have because college is really hard, okay? I kid you not, if you came from high school getting straight A's, you are most likely not gonna be doing the same in college because the classes just get really hard and you have to take so much more time to study. And if you got by in high school with doing minimal amount of studying, barely doing your homework and still getting A's, good luck trying to do that in college because that is not gonna happen. I'm just keeping it real with you. That is literally not gonna happen. I haven't heard of one person that never studies for any test in college and still gets an A. It doesn't happen. It's that just doesn't happen. Also, along the lines of getting harder, you also have more independence. So you don't have your parents telling you what to do every single minute of the day. You have all the time in the world to decide what your schedule is gonna be. So, you know, like it's harder without having your parents telling you what to do all the time. Cause then you get confused and you're like, I'm supposed to be doing something right now, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. But yeah, like your independence just makes you a stronger person and teaches you more about yourself, you know, you know. I'm just rambling right now. I really don't know what I'm saying. I have it all written down right here in my notebook, but I literally don't know what I'm saying. Tip number two, it's okay to fail. Failing makes you a better student because it teaches you what you need to work on. For example, if you fail a math quiz, then that should be motivation for you to go out and go get the help that you need. So if your school offers, and I'm pretty sure your school should offer, if your school offers tutoring, take advantage of that. You also have office hours from your professor. You also have office hours from your TAs. And I'm pretty sure your school will offer additional tutoring for an additional price. But honestly, the tutoring with the price attached to it is actually really beneficial. Because personally, I was taking hard classes. I was taking a biology and chemistry and math and blah 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 and stuff like that so um, obviously I couldn't keep up with the work so as soon as I knew that I was struggling in my chemistry class I went out and I got help I went to my tutoring resource and let me tell you let me tell you I went from failing one of my midterms to getting an A minus let me tell you how much this tutoring works because bless bless save my grade and i didn't fail the class so there you go take advantage of your tutoring tip number three 
It's okay to doubt yourself because honestly, curiosity makes you a better person. There are many times throughout college when you will doubt yourself so much, asking yourself like, oh, am I cut out for this? I'm not smart enough for this. I don't want to do college anymore. I give up. <laughs> Honey, that is only motivation for you to work harder, okay? Most likely, you're going to college for, to, okay, most likely, most, Oh my gosh. Most likely you're going to college to get a degree to get a good job later on. So um, you don't want to be wasting your money and stuff like that. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what I'm saying. That has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. Anyway, okay. Um, I literally cannot talk in front of a camera. <gasps> Anyways, the more you question yourself, the more you're pushing yourself to do better. It is what it is. If you push yourself to do better, then you'll do better. But if you slack off, then you're obviously not going to do better. So just get into that mindset of hey, I'm paying a lot of money for this education, so I'm just gonna push myself and get through it and try to get the best grades that I can. Tip number four, find time for yourself, whether that is staying in your room and journaling your experience throughout your first year, or going over to your friend's dorm and having a full-on dance party to de-stress yourself. I cannot tell you how many times I went over to my friend's dorm and we have just danced like for a couple hours and I just feel so much better after I do that because it just it's like a de-stressor for me so whenever I'm just with my friends and we're laughing and dancing I just completely forget about all my schoolwork and it's just nice to have that break you know without studying and worrying about any classes and just really hanging out with your friends and being truly happy and enjoying that moment. That is honestly one of the best things throughout college is just enjoying your friend's presence and getting your mind off of schoolwork. That is literally bless bless. So thank you to my friends who put up with my weirdness and my dance parties. You guys are the real ones. You know who you are, you're probably watching this. Hey. <laughs> So that was the end of my video. I really hope that you take this advice to heart because I wish I had someone to tell me this. I know I could have looked on YouTube, but like if it's like personal, personal basis, you know, friend basis, then I really hope you take this to heart because this is some of the things that I learned and I hope that it could help you, honestly. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know I've been slacking from this channel, but I will be making more videos. I already have a couple videos pre-filmed and they're ready to go up. I just haven't put them up yet, you know. Lazy me. Lazy me. That's another habit I need to break. I need to stop being lazy. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content from me because there's more content coming soon. Oh yeah, you just don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing but yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on snapchat twitter and instagram and tumblr there's too many social medias to keep up with but those links will be in the description box and yeah that is all I will see you guys in my next video bye